There have been more school shootings per year in America than any other country in the world. Until 2016, Florida law allowed judges to use the death penalty if there was a majority vote from jurors. In 2017, Florida abolished this law and now requires a unanimous vote to impose this sentence. Recently, the Parkland shooter, who killed 17 people out of Florida high school, received a vote of 9 to 3, with 75% of jurors supporting his execution. However, because of this law requiring a unanimous vote, he will receive a life sentence and not the death penalty. This decision has caused a lot of anger and backlash from the victims' families. We spoke to NHS students, staff, and a local lawyer to hear their opinions and learn more about the situation. There are a lot of states like Massachusetts that don't have the death penalty at all. And then there are other states that have the death penalty, but the procedure for when it's available differs based on the state. One of the things that every state has to do, because it's required by the Constitution, is that the jury has to be able to weigh what they call mitigating factors against aggravating factors. The mitigating factors are the issues about the person, their background, who they are, the nature of the offense, against the aggravating factors, which are the things that make the crime awful. So that's required by the Constitution. And the Constitution really just creates a baseline. And then states are allowed to carry out the death penalty in the way they want. Do I think the death penalty should be allowed? I think I have mixed feelings about it, honestly. I feel like since this guy kills 17 people, I think he should receive a worse consequence in life. But like, I feel like death is just not necessary because it's like, doesn't help anything, it just kills him, like it's like over. He doesn't know what to do right next time. Jail for life, not just like 15 years. That's my opinion. Do I think the death penalty should be allowed? Um, I think saying no to anything just outright, I think is a bad idea. So maybe there should be extreme situations that it should be allowed. So I wouldn't say it should be completely outlawed. Does the Parkland shooter deserve the death penalty? If there's gonna be someone that did, I would say um, it would be someone like that. Um, personally, I don't support the death penalty as an entire system because I think it is very unfair because you can see that um, most white men that are inmates don't get the death penalty as much as black and brown inmates do. So I think the system as a whole is very unfair um, determining on race and gender and class. In a state like Florida, where the death penalty is allowed, the statistics were nine to three. Nine people voted to get the death penalty and only three people voted for the life sentence. And I think you need the majority to vote for the death penalty in order for it to be allowed. I don't agree with the Parkland shooter only getting one life sentence. I think he should have gotten a harsher punishment. I believe that the death penalty constitutes cruel and unusual punishment and it should be banned in the United States. So in the context of the Parkland massacre, I understand the perspective, especially the anger from the community, from the parents, in that the death penalty was not imposed. I can understand that and it goes back to my understanding of the Constitution. Thanks for watching. To find out more about the death penalty, visit deathpenaltyinfo.org. See you next week.